Hey YouTube, it's Evan Magician 34 uh, with a little bit of a cold, so if I sound weird, that's why. But I've got this week's edition of The Edge. And this card you've probably seen on my channel if you've watched it for any length of time. But it's just so good, I think it deserves its own little spotlight. And that card is Cherry and Mado. It's a dark two-star plant tuner. And basically what makes this card so amazing and puts it in a very special class, which a lot of people don't appreciate, is the fact that it's a plus one. And it's even a plus one that could, theoretically, earn you more cards than that. Uh, whenever it is destroyed in battle, it's a recruiter, and sent to the grave, you can get up to two Inmato monsters out of your deck and special summon them. Uh, you can't use them as synchro materials that turn, though. It doesn't restrict you to put them in attack mode or defense mode or either one. And it doesn't make you put them face down or anything like that. The only restriction is you can't, like, ram your Inmato, and then on your second main phase, sync up. Now you might be saying, how would I sync up? Well, first things first. You're almost really going to be running three of this guy, because he can search himself, because Cherry in Mado is an in Mado monster. And we'll be getting into reasons why you might do that later. The only other in Mado is in Mado. And while his ability doesn't really shine that much, he's a three-star non-tuner. So the idea is, Cherry in Mado dies in battle, and you go special summon these two guys, and on your own turn you sync them up, or what have you. But that's a little narrow-minded, and we'll get into what you can do with it later. <coughs> in fact, you can even run two Inmatos if you want, because it just says two Inmatos. It doesn't say it has to be a Cherry Inmato anywhere in there if you don't want. So you can just get these two guys. In fact, you could even ram, then kill another monster in combat, summon two Inmatos, and use these guys as 2800 damage. Of course, you can also recruit Cherry and Mado off of this guy, Mystic Tomato. And you know what's cool about Mystic Tomato? He's the long forgotten way to go get Sangan, who also goes and gets Cherry and Mado. Not that that's how you have to do it necessarily, but it's important to remember that Sangan is just another cog in this machine. And of course, if we're getting into the plant thing, we have to mention that Lone Fire gets it, and other things that like to play with it, like, say, Spore. Cherry and Mado is rare in plants, actually, in that it's a two-star, so Spore can actually become a three-star tuner using one of your Cherry and Mados. It's also important to remember that this annoying card, which is just everywhere, doesn't work on Cherry and Mado because Cherry and Mado works in the damage step, so only Herald of Orange Light works. And it kind of stinks after Herald of Orange Light something that activates in the damage step, so you've already kind of gotten the free card in combat, and now you have to spend two cards to make sure that it doesn't blow up in your face. <coughs> Of course, that's only the beginning. Who says you have to just use Inmatos to profit from it? How about Reborn Tengu? This guy can make sinking incredibly profitable with Cherry and Mado. And you can turn what would be a plus one into plus twos or even plus threes. Let's not forget how awesome it is with Mind Control. Two stars works very well with Mind Control. Stealing things up to level six is still for profit. And Creature Swap, that way you steal their big monster and run over your attack position Cherry and Mado and make two free monsters. Like, say, those two in Mados to hit for 2800 more damage. And of course, Cherry and Mado pumps monsters into the grave very quickly, so we also have to mention Pot of Avarice. And of course, there are other applications, like, say, tributing those materials. Things like this are easy summons off of Cherry and Mado. But then, truly, I guess we have to get into your initial targets. Five-star monsters like these two guys. Or, say, that magical android, which, combined with the Cherry and Mado, is going to be your light and your dark to summon that Black Luster soldier you want to get out. Of course, with uh, just about anything four-star, you're talking about options into things like Bryanak, or, say, Splendid Rose, who now has the ammunition for her effect. Or, if I reborn Tengu, both. Or even, say, Gaia Knight in place of this card, if you don't want to use it for some reason. And, of course, those, via two Cherry and Mados, can easily just turn into an 8-star as well. Of course, going for 8-stars can be especially interesting with the Inmato monsters. Since they're dark, they give you options that are unique, like Dark End Dragon and Infernity Doom Dragon that are often forgotten these days for flashier cards. And any 4-star combines with Inmato and Cherry and Mado to make cards like Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, or Mistworm. If all else fails, of course, two Cherry and Mados can always exceed into Gachi Gachi, which is an interesting play, and not necessarily a bad one if you're trying to set up your next turn move by, say, one monster attacking Cherry and Mado, make two more Cherry and Mados on your next turn, 
overlay them to Ixies and for Gontetsu and then do your normal summons and whatnot for a boosted size, say, maybe Thunder King. But, of course, if you're playing with two in Mados, which you don't have to, but you can, remember, Creature Swap can always trade in Mado off for bigger monsters. You start getting cool three-star options very easily. Things like Zen Main, Levier, or even number 17, Leviathan Dragon, if you just need a good beat stick. And also a cheaper but still tolerable option than, say, these two cards, which may break some budgets. So, there you go. Short and sweet. This week's edge card that can definitely give your plant deck a serious edge, if played correctly, is Cherry and Mado. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more cool videos.